Welcome, lords and ladies of the chat, to another episode of Lugan's Lounge, episode 18. We're almost coming up on that 20 number. That's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. More episodes. Um, we're your hosts. My name is Trevor16 Shooter on Instagram. With me are the talented toy photographer. I still haven't gotten that direction <laughs> thing right. Uh, Nate Strong, at Corona4 on the Instagram, and the host of the uh, Celebrity Endorsed Door Player right here on YouTube, Bill Janowski. Uh, at the door, door clear on Instagram and door clear here on YouTube. How's, how's it going, guys? Great. Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm awake somehow. <laughs> <laughs> two, two and a half, three hours <laughs> sleep last night, as I explained. But uh, I'm here. I'm drinking iced tea instead of any, you know, alcoholic beverages. But uh, I got we'll you. See how it goes. Yeah, you might have to have me. I may fall over on the chair. Uh, but no, we got a great guest tonight. Um, I'm super excited. So I'm I'm awake and I'm charged. Um, yeah. Who we got in the chat, Nate? Who's here? We got uh, our number one uh, fan, Dave Orkin. Hey, hey, he says, Dave, I'm sporting a new shirt from him. I'm totally yeah. digging it. Love it. That's a great shirt right there. Right? Yeah. Show the Check bottom of it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's great. Oh, had to suck my gun in for that one. Kevin, <laughs> what's up, buddy? <laughs> David Smith, Jacob Forna. Mochi Jonathan, Guru. Hedgehog Action. Yes. Curtis, what's happening? Wing or lose? Hey, Wing, well, what's going on, man? Uh, Dave Smith has said Hatter, MD, Scott Baker, Jeremy Bollinger. Jacob Fornis said, yeah, Fort Fortimus for Fortress Madimus. Yeah, I'm starting to sound like Travis. <laughs> cool, man. Thanks, guys, for joining Curtis. us. Yeah, thanks, everybody, for coming on. Uh, Got a few people in here. I think we'll be getting some more in pretty soon. Uh, what does it say? How does it feel? Like I've taken your best pictures. Of, oh, oh, thanks. All right. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but we'll get to that. Um, a couple of things just before we get started. I uh, I picked up a, a corn boy this week. That's awesome. I'm very nice. excited to find this, and it still has the twenty, the nineteen ninety five. Uh, where is it? KB Toys sticker. Oh, no way. That's great. KB Toys. <laughs> nice. That card looks great shape too. Right? Yeah, it's pretty good, man. And it was only 20 bucks. I'm like, hell yeah. That's awesome. I don't I was gonna take it out of the box because I really want to shoot it, but um I, I might not. I don't know. We'll Good see. Too. Uh all right. So we got some news coming up, but we're gonna bring our guest out first. We're gonna talk about all all about the stuff that we saw yesterday and um saturday sale um but the, we have the guy who is responsible for saturday sale uh right with us so our special guest tonight is a very talented illustrator who's worked with uh, a, a plethora of, of genres genres and companies like microsoft marvel dc hasbro disney um he's worked with musicians uh done work for the misfits um the black keys anthrax three three of my favorite uh, artists, Pearl Jam, Guns N' Roses, ACDC, IPs like Judge Dredd, uh, TMNT, Peanuts. I mean, you name it. The, the list goes on and on. It really goes on and on. We'll, we'll see. We'll take a look at some of his work. It's, it's incredible. Um, but recently, many of you may have uh, been introduced to his work through his set of incredible posters of two of my favorite uh, Cosmic Legions uh, figures, uh, which went on sale Saturday and are sold out now. So if you didn't get them, you didn't get them. Um, well. <laughs> uh, he's also, uh, he's he's one of us, man. He's a toy collector. Uh, most recently, he has come into the fold, the warm embrace of uh, Mythic Legions. Um, so let's get some swords in the chat for Tom Whalen. Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey, Tom. That, What's that, going on, man? That was a heck of an intro. And, and <laughs> oh, <laughs> I felt like it was all off the top of your head. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of notes in there, but yeah, That's for the most part, yeah. <laughs> take it, take it. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, really, I could have just thrown a dart, you know, or just picked something <laughs> out of my head, and you probably would have done it. I probably wouldn't have been wrong, no matter what I picked. So, yeah, um, yeah. you have worked with a lot of uh, a lot of properties, man. Um, yeah. How long I, you been doing yeah. this? I've been doing it. Uh, like as a 
strictly freelance for about eight and a half years, but probably I, I, I'd point back to like 2009 was the first Mm -hmm. like gallery uh, shows I started to be invited to uh, gallery in 1988 in, um, in Los Angeles. And then started working with Mondo. If if, uh, your uh, viewers are familiar with Mondo Mm -hmm. in 2010. So uh, probably like 12 years now, all told. Yep. Yep. Cool. Cool. Um, so why don't you tell people like what it is that you do? I mean, I think a lot of people now know you uh, if they didn't know you before. And I know a bunch of people did know you before um, from your other work. Um, and, you know, we, we got toy collectors in here. There's people who may or may not know that your um, your work is on the packages of the Power Rangers currently. Yeah. Um, that are out there. I, I do not Power Ranger very much, but I know that you were also not a Power Ranger fan before yeah, really. you did it. So yeah, I, I don't feel so bad about that. Yeah, no, I got a crash course when I when I got that assignment. But uh, I mean, my the, the bread and butter that I've been doing for the last uh, ten or twelve years has been uh, screen printed movie posters for mm-hmm. companies who will go out. Uh, just a, in a nutshell, companies like Mondo, Bottleneck Gallery, Vice Press will go out and get licenses from Lucasfilm, Disney, mm-hmm. C, right. uh, Hasbro, and then they'll hire artists to do our own takes on those properties, something that's like just a little bit outside of what you would see in a traditional movie poster. Right. Um, my style is, is a lot more graphic, mid-century modern. Uh, some guys are like just, there's a guy named Ken Taylor who just goes super, super heavy detail. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I know his work. Yep. It, he, and he, it, he, it's great to see, like, I love seeing guys and girls who I'm in this little pool with, like what, who seeks them out? Like he gets a lot of like, heavy metal band like gig posters okay um, anyway the, the posters are kind of what i've been doing like steadily throughout the last 10 or 12 years and then as a result of that i always say those posters are basically like giant business cards that are hanging on the walls of people who uh who, who, the people who collect them happen to be like art directors and uh decision makers at, at the companies that hire me to do to, you know to kind of take that style and bring it over to you know, either comic books or in, in uh, uh, Mythic Le- or Cosmic Legion's case, uh, you know, posters for their for their property. So right. the, the posters are the, the like kind of a launch point for all the other stuff that I do. I mean, this Pat, work you, is just go ahead. Nate. I was just going to say, are you pretty much strictly freelance now or do you have like contracts with um, some of those companies that you mentioned? No, no nothing ongoing. The okay. only contracts I have are like project based. So um, the Hasbro uh lightning collection uh contract was that was probably the better part of four years um i worked on those and um everything else is pretty much just you know piecemeal job will come in put it together wrap it up and then it's on to the next thing that's cool so like like you said say for instance there's a, a movie coming up and one of these galleries uh gets the license and then they approach a handful of artists and you're one of them Mm-hmm. It must be pretty cool to, you know, it's, it's this movie, but it's all, all these different artists interpretation of what they want to sort right. of showcase. Right. And then right. in their style too. So that's gotta be cool even for you to, yeah. to check out, you know, what they're it's, doing. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's totally neat. Especially yeah, there have been some instances where I've um, like you said, it's been one property and a bunch of different artists on it. And then a lot of times it's like um, legacy properties, like back to the future gremlins Mm -hmm. um you know stuff that is maybe a few years like either 20 years old 10 years old or even a few years old that has like a a, some kind of staying power that there's a still a market for artwork like like how to train your dragons an example of Mm. something that's not very old but um i was hired you know only a few years ago to do this and the movie itself was probably eight five or six years old at the time so right um, wow it's not That's necessarily, cool. I actually prefer if the movie's out already, because I've had a couple of assignments where I've had to do a movie poster for a movie I haven't seen. And they like, I don't get a screener for it. So it's like basically still framing, wow. still framing the, uh, the, the trailer like a hundred times and just trying to pick stuff out. Yeah, that's gotta I be tough gonna... for you because you work oh. a lot of like little details into the into the margins and stuff, and in between some of the characters and figures, yeah, like it's... you can see here. And if you don't know any scenes outside of, you know what you've what you've seen from a poster or a still or a yeah, because short that's... trailer, that's, t- that's the mo- it's it's cool because 
you capitalize on the interest of the film as it's coming out. So usually those, those mm -hmm. assignments will be released the day of the, the film release. And right. I, to be honest, I haven't done a whole lot of those, mm -hmm. but um, it's, it's tough. Like knowing, like, you know, you don't see everything in a trailer, obviously, hmm. but you ha how, how do you know what the essence of the movie is without seeing it? So well, right. it's and... interesting you say that because, and I may be jumping the gun, you know, we're obviously going to get to this, but I did want to ask, I'm, you know, there's a certain challenge as I'm assuming with the oh, cosmic yes. gig, because these figures aren't even out yet, not even wave ones out yet. So right. you had limited resources to work with, um, but they still, you know, what you came up with is incredible. So what kind of challenge is it, um, you know, uh, bring up when you have like limited things like you're just talking about as opposed to you could sit and study or hold something in your hands yeah it, they did a great job of um giving me turns like uh, uh black and white turns of the characters before um i guess they were digital renders so that gave me enough to go on um and as far as all the textures and stuff were laid in and then i just looked at um the the prototypes they used for the for the original sale to um the, and actually, Canucks Vol was was tougher because I was working completely off of uh, off of black and white turnarounds at that point, and I hadn't seen any color. I had seen I had seen digital color, but not the prototypes they showed at the on the when they when they actually revealed him. Oh, you were working uh, on the pre painted uh, prototypes? Yeah, I, uh, I guess they were. I guess they were digital renders. I was. Oh, I was, okay. But yeah, the yeah, color, yeah. Colors change either shifted a little bit. Definitely, some of the pieces on his armor shift mm -hmm. color a little bit, and, and yeah. I mean, it's not super critical because obviously I'm working. This was a six color palette, right? So it's you know it's whatever color is closest to, you know, the blue huh. fills in your your mind fills in like that's not exactly the color of the toy, but right, right, right. Yeah, I, and I had assumed you at least were working with Trevor's photos that had color and and the shoot around and some of the some, some the of dials that he put those in. But those prior to that, even that's amazing. Yeah, some some of those were, if I remember correctly, I think they were digital renders. Not, I did have yeah. some photos, but not not all. Wow. Yeah, that's probably the same digital renders they give me to try and so I can piece them together <laughs> to, <laughs> in order to shoot them. It's like it should look like this. Good luck. Right. Um, right. Yeah, speaking of the color, like, let's go to color. I didn't was there's a I got a lot I got a lot of questions, but yeah, it's um, all over the place. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. But in looking at at, at this and your other work, um, you you I mean I, I love your style. There's I mean I know you said Saul Bass is a, is an influence, uh, and and I can totally see that. I mean I I love that work. I, I'm I went to school for design too. I'm a graphic designer. Okay, I was going to go down the illustration path. Um, wanted to be a comic book artist. Was that something that as a question before we get into color, um, what was the path that you took to get to this point Were you, did you know you wanted to be an illustrator? I mean, I know you drew as a little kid, you said you, um, comic books, um, how to draw comics, the Marvel way was my yeah. Bible when I was like eight or yeah. nine years old. <laughs> I just read that thing to, to, I don't even have it anymore because I read it to pieces. It's just, yeah. Um, but did you, at that, what at what point did you want to say I'm going to be an illustrator and not maybe a comic book artist or a graphic designer or you know something like that? Were there paths that you took? Yeah, definitely. Probably about okay. halfway halfway through college because I went in like just hell bent on I'm going to be a comic book illustrator and yeah. <laughs> I I frankly that was not my strong suit and thankfully there was there were teachers and professors that kind of guided me into and and there was always like this underlying current of you're never going to get a full-time illustration job. So diversify, which was a yes. great, which okay. was a great, um, great. Like, I'm glad that they forced me out of that, like that, like tunnel vision. Um, right. but when I discovered, like when I found my love for color and, um, topography and like integrating design into illustration, that's, mm -hmm. I feel like when I, when I got, and that, you know, I, I speak at, uh, colleges and and high schools when i'm asked to and uh it's funny because everybody wants the like the the stepping stone like the the formula that they can get to from point a to point b and it it takes like it took me 20 years to to develop a definitive style but like okay you know, like i i didn't want to hear that when i was in college either it's, yeah you, know, you, you want the, the cliff notes to get get there quicker but it really just does take time and, it's interesting because, yeah, like uh, that was something that I was told, too, when I wanted to be either, you know, 
an illustrator or I really, I wanted to be a comic book artist as well, but I, my problem was I was, I'm, I was slow as death. Same here. Yeah. 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 I, when somebody told me like, Hey, you got to crank out at least a page or two a day. And then yeah. I kind of found out how, what it paid too. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm, I'm going to starve. This is I've heard really, you say really that, that exact thing on a, on a prior show. And I, I, it struck such a nerve because I, I was in, I was in the same boat. I'm like, yeah, this is just not my, and I still, even, even after I graduated, I got a design job and I would come home at night and just like create projects for myself and just mm -hmm. like I, I'd come home from my day job and just work on stuff and then go back to the day job because the, the guy that owned it was cool enough to let me go print, like use the color printer. So nice. I would just like be continually just making my own stuff yeah, on my own time. And it, I feel that's when like the real magic happened of mm -hmm. like those years is when that like the style kind of like started to develop. That's cool because that's what I was always told too in school is that like, if you're going to be an illustrator, you have to develop a style. And I was always that and still mm, kind of am. Um, I think I'm not trying to like, I'm just saying like um, you, you really have to have a style in order to make it like, Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to be jack of all trades. Like, oh, you need this guy's style, and there are people like that. It's like this is the hot style. You know what how it goes in design. Yeah. It's like yeah. this is the hot style. Yeah, I can I can mimic that. You know what I mean? It's you know you, you can't afford to hire this illustrator or right. It's just not a project they're going to work on because you're you know a mom and pop thing or something. Yeah, I can do that. Um, but, but that's part, not the way to go as an illustrator. No, and part of the part of the problem with that thinking is that when you are, or at least when I was in school, I was like, well, I have to come up with the style now. And I wasn't worried, like for a little bit, I wasn't worried about actually like learning the basics and learning mm. composition and typography and color. I was like, so I was just like laser focused on, I got to get my style down. And that is, in my opinion, that you got to put the time in first and then that can come. And that's, at least that was my path. There's plenty of people yeah. that, that it all comes together. And there's, there's people that it comes together for much quicker. And there's people that don't need school too. Like there's people that just can jump in. But for me, it took a long time to, for everything to coalesce. Yeah. I hated all those people in school who had, who already had <laughs> something. And it's like, every time they brought something up for review, it was like, damn it, this is, Every time, man, it looks. Yeah. I can tell it's his work. You know yeah. what I mean? Damn yeah, it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is. There is a lot of value in that. And absolutely. absolutely, what you said about um, uh, people. I, I did see some comments in the cabal about people that did recognize my work, which always makes me really happy that like they're seeing it elsewhere and maybe not like it's not clicking, and then they see it in their in their like lane. Yeah. And they're like, oh, mm -hmm. I, I I know that stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like yeah, we, we just, said at the top here, you've been, you know, how can you not see everything from Coke to movies to music to Disney? I mean, the, I mean, talk about diversification. It's amazing. So, yes. Tom, when you first started out, were you, did you find yourself predominantly doing one type of sort of client work or was it kind of diverse from the get go? Uh, it was always, it feels like it's always been in the pop culture realm um, mm, nice. as far as like, I think the first job, it, it was a really, well, I always remember I did one project for Tops. I did a, a, a Stormtrooper card for their, I think it was called Star Wars Galaxy card set. And I got the job on the day that my day job started to erode. Like it was like the day they called us in and said, well, you're not full time anymore. You're four days a week and your benefits are getting cut. I was like, oh, no, what is this? This was like when the economy started to go down. So like 20, 2008, 2009. And um, I remember the first like real, one of the first big jobs I got was to do this tops card. And I was like, I always remember that was like a, I was like, if I can do this, if I'm getting this job, I can make this, I can turn this into the next job, into the next job. And I can, it always gave me like hope that even though that my day job was kind of like falling apart, the, the freelancing, was kind of a, an avenue for me. And it, I, uh, going back to the original question, it, it always has been um, mostly pop culture stuff. I've done mm -hmm. some work for Target, uh, some gift cards for them. Um, but it's, it's, it's mostly pop culture. I when bet you, you, when man, you every time you of... say another thing that you did, I think I I think I know what it is. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Head, yeah. I know I had the tops card. What, I mean, was it, 
What did you do? Was, did you uh, do Job of the Hut or something? Or? No, Job of the Hut was for Mondo. Uh, it might under be under archive on the site there. Oh yeah. Oh, let me yeah. Take a look. It was uh, just a profile of stormtroopers. It was different, like uh, trooper designs. Because I had that set. I remember that set. Oh, this this one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Totally. Oh, oh yep. my God. I I know it's it's sure. Flooding okay. back. Yeah. It's wild. Wow. Cool. <laughs> So it's it is it is interesting. Like I did know your work before I knew who you mm -hmm. were, and um, it is it's a super recognizable style. And uh, uh, Nate, you had a question. I was going to go into something else, but go ahead. That's okay. Uh, I was just going to. So when you found yourself faced with sort of um, you know four days a week or the job was dwindling, um, I'm assuming you had yeah. to start to hustle and, and go out and find gigs for yourself back yeah. then. Yeah, absolutely. And it was I, I and I I should like the missing piece in that conversation is um, it was an illustration job that I had a full-time illustration job for the better part of like 12 years. So it was that at the when I got that job, I was like, well, this, this is it. You know, I've, I've made it and this, this mm -hmm. is the best job I'm ever going to have. And it eventually <laughs> the company kind of, kind of faltered. And uh, it was the best thing at the time. Cause I, I had about a, maybe two years, maybe three years of like, the company, the the day job was starting to decline, but yet, like, I had time to like slowly build the the, the mm. freelance uh, clientele. Very cool. Nice. So I love what you said I, about all your pieces are basically business cards. So that that had to I, help in some some respect, right? Yeah, and that's oh, yeah. that's how all of the Hasbro work came about. Uh, an art director there happened to have one of my Disney posters in his office, and. He was looking for help with the uh, Transformers style guide maybe five years ago and hired me for that. And then mm. thought of me when they were uh, when they had bought when Hasbro bought um, Power Rangers. And uh, that was it just like I said, it just kind of uh, jumps to the one thing to the next, thankfully. And I've, I've never had a day without, you know, without at least a few projects going. Nice. Columbia, fan wow. of Columbia. Thanks for joining us. I have no idea. What, well, Columbia's here. We're yeah, okay. <laughs> same <laughs> same meridian. I think we're good. Uh, yeah, that was the the maps and charts show. <clears throat> oh yeah yeah yeah. I did a uh, show called Inforama. Okay. With Kevin Tong, uh, another uh, artist, and um, which I I think I think that's yeah like behind absolutely. me is. I'm, I saw that, uh, Bill, a, a couple uh, shows ago. I recognized that. Yeah, that's definitely his work. So we, cool. did a, we did a show, a two-man show, where we did um, basically infographics of, like, dinosaurs. Uh, I did one for the uh, Transcontinental Railroad. We just took, like, public domain uh, topics and made infographic posters out of them. Awesome. You know, I was going to say, your work would... So you've done travel poster stuff, right? Yeah. Before? yeah. Yeah. That that translates right into that. I love that style of the old, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, mid like like you said, mid century um, travel posters are fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah Tom Iavuatu is uh, my co-host on the One Six Pack, and Tom's a big collector of prints and stuff. And I know he's got a, a bunch of your work too. Oh, awesome. um, yeah. Um, so I'm looking just in going through this, and I was I've been wondering about it um there is a lot of orange and blue and a little <laughs> bit of purple is that so is is that your signature color palette there is that like do you i mean i know it's not everything because it doesn't apply yeah. to everything you know that you do but do you what what how did that come about like, there is i i think i just subconsciously gravitate to those colors a lot okay i so put a lot of thing I mix all of my colors to, just to get into the weeds. I mix all my colors in Illustrator with a with a, a CMYK mix, and I always there's always yellow in the in the in the in every color combination. So it always there's always a warmth, and I think I just gravitate. I love that. There's always there's always a, a, like a what I call yellow, and a lot of my printers call orange. But I, uh -huh. I, I realize there it's it's totally what i feel that each job needs and i never go in saying well this is going to be orange this is going to be green okay it's just kind of and and they the colors evolve throughout um throughout the, every project i i'm constantly tweaking them but yeah they 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 always do settle in that in that range hmm. i think it just happens i mean in doing photography when i'm lighting things 
that it's the same thing that happens. It's that it's, it's that color blue. wheel mentality. It's like, oh, I'm going to use a little blue here. Yep. And then I look I go back and look at my uh my page and I'm like, wow, I'm I'm in a mood here. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Is, like everything is either orange, you know, red or blue or whatever the hell it is for the month or whatever, but uh, you, I guess you it happens. Probably you can probably speak to this too, but it's it's so much of it is a feeling. Like not yeah. like an emotional feeling, but just like that that feels that feels like it looks right to me. It's not there's yeah. no best rules. It's just just tweaking it till it just looks right to your. And own. it is an emotional thing because I mean, like I I freaking love this because I love this show. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I, but, used to- I I love the variations too. It's beautiful. So that's a whole different feel to right there. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. But this this isn't necessarily the colors from the show, and that's what's great about it. Like I I I love that. That's where it's. I think I had a problem as in you know as trying to be like a. Like like this type of illustrator, like uh, you know, like breaking my my mind out of like reality sometimes, yeah, like that. Right. You really have to just. It's like being a you know a painter that you can interpret a color, um, you know, and break someone's face up into blues and yellows and greens right. and stuff, and have it come across as a as an overall tone. Yeah, it's a very very tricky thing to do, um, and you do it beautifully. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I, um, I'm not sure we got into it. Um, and if if we, I can't remember if we did it at the top or not. Maybe you can tell everybody about um, uh, all the time you spent at your grandma's candy store. Because what, especially when I see like yeah. a layout like this, um, I wonder how much you were influenced by sort of the vintage or retro kind of candy packaging. And I, I mean, like it just looks like we just spilled out mm. a package of Skittles. You know, it's like so. I think a candy when I look at this too. So I just wonder. Yeah, that's the great influence that yeah that's a great compliment because i feel like when i look at this i want it i want it to pop like i want it to yeah speaking of candy um (laughs) yeah my my grandmother owned a candy store and i spent a lot of time reading comics in there and kind of that's what where i got the bug to draw in the first place when i was probably in in grade school and middle school but um for sure packaging and and um typography and uh layout is, is such a huge part of of what i do that it, it had to have some kind of subconscious influence on me yeah god awesome. what a great way to grow up yeah really <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> candy and comic, candy and book. comic, candy comic. And comic. good lord it's every kid's dream yeah <laughs> amazing amazing yeah. Yeah, a lot um, of kids are like, I got to go to grandma's. But you're like, I'm going to grandma's. Awesome. Right, right, right. I tell my kids, I'm like, you guys would not have believed. Like, she had a window <laughs> full of penny candy when there were no, like, you know, you know, there were no gloves used or or it was just like she <laughs> she would reach in and kids would come in and order 10 fish and yeah. you know, 10, just six minutes or whatever. Yeah, just everything's pulling them out. But I'm like, you guys would have, like, flipped out. It was, it was <laughs> so cool. Those ribbon candies that would just come out as one big chunk and right, you have right. to like chip them all out. <laughs> yeah, right. The strip with the, with the little dots on it. Stick yeah. together. Exactly. Yeah. You can't You can't even go to like a shop now and scoop out. No. Now in the COVID no. age, like it's, right. you, they're all pretty bad. Those, those canisters are empty. Yep. 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 <laughs> Different world. I want to go, go back to the illustration. Let's, let's, um, well, let's talk about the, the Cosmic Legions one. Um, a little bit more. We we talked about sort of the creation of it. How did it come about? And I guess by way of that, um, how did you get involved with Mythic Legions on as a collector? And then which came first? You know, yeah, chicken and yeah. egg. Which? How did that work out? I had seen. I, I watch a lot of toy content during the day. <laughs> yeah, me too. Working, this show being one of them, and uh, it it. The Mythic Legion, the, the Four Horsemen's work, it's hard to like put a proper scope on how much stuff they've done, so how much stuff I own that they've done that I had no idea. Yeah. Like, I didn't it's, know. It's almost like you, Tom. It's like everybody exactly. like, yeah. like, in your work at some I had point. had that card. Right. I had right. no idea. <laughs> but uh, it, the Mythic Legions were always on like the fringe of my, uh, like, I guess, interest mm-hmm. until I saw the Krampus and I was like, well, I'm going to give this a shot. And I got it in hand. I'm like, Oh my God, this is, and I've Trevor, I've seen you talk like this exact story, like spoke yeah. to me. Like I got it in hand. I'm like, this is the quality of this is so like next level. You can't explain it. I, I bought one I know. It's my weird. Buddy for his birthday. I'm like, 
you may hate this, but you've just got to see the like the level of. And now he's collecting them too. So <laughs> it started with that. Free. So it happens. Yeah, so it happens. It yeah, started. you just play around with it, and it's like. Again, I was telling somebody the other day, I was on another show and I'm like, it's, you know, I mean, if you collect toys, you know, it's, you know, the different levels of, yeah, it's not Mafex articulation, you know what I mean? It's not a spider, but it's not a Spider-Man figure either. It's a yeah. giant orc and it's a, or it's a skeleton and like, that's all you need, you know what I mean? And it, and it just moves so nicely and like poses so yeah. well and they look so great. It just, they're beautiful things to look at. It's a, it's a strange thing to try to convey to somebody the best way I find is I've given it to people. You know yep. what I mean? I, I gave Kevin from toying around and sent him one and he's like, Oh yeah. That's now I get it. I yeah, think if I only you... had money and like, you know, didn't have to ship them to Canada, he would be in right. them, I think. <laughs> and I think what you said is, is exactly like, is a perfect encapsulation of what they are. I don't personally, I don't like need a lot of articulation. I post mm -hmm. the stuff once usually and put it on a shelf and enjoy the way it looks. It's just how right. I collect. Right. But I would rather, I would rather err on the side of the sculpt, which is, which is the, the sculpts are just like, they're perfect. Yeah. They really are yeah. perfect. And mm -hmm. um, I'd rather have less articulation and have it like tucked away instead of like making concessions for the articulation. Right. Right. Yep. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and I, I, you know, we all, you know, Nate and I shoot these things. I get the poses that I need out of them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I really yeah, don't, right. I don't find a lot of limitations on them right. and they do look great on the shelf. Not everybody's doing what we're doing with them, but, um, in fact, you know, the majority of people aren't doing that, um, right. Right. except out of like putting it on a table and taking a shot of your, your custom or whatever. Yeah, but, right. um, so, yeah, so you I'm got sorry. into, you picked up Krampus picked and up Krampus, got it in hand. I'm like, Oh, this is really great. And it freaked my kid, my daughter out. She's nine freaked. Like I read the back of the box at the, at the table. Like I opened it up after dinner one night and she was like, it on never heard of Krampus before. Apparently. No, 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 no. So that was this before or after Christmas. It was uh, before Christmas. I oh think, boy. I think they came in before Christmas. Right. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yep. uh, I got that in hand. I'm like, these are great. And then I, I only, I bought not, not many more, like two or three more. And um, just, I started, you know, following all the channels, all the, the cabal and you, what you get in, mm -hmm. in the, in the, in the stream. Mm -hmm. And then I reached out on Instagram to uh, the horse on the horseman Instagram. And it happened to me. Now I know it was Jeremy. Right. I said, Hey, I love what you do. I love your like independent, the way you guys run. This is like so beautiful. Cause it's yeah. your own IP. You just making it up and it's, it's all you. And I said, I just love that spirit. If they're, if you ever want to work together, um, let me know. And he got awesome. back right away. He said, yeah, I'd love to, you know, he had just, I think he said his wife had bought him uh, the art of Mondo book. Oh, wow. And I had hmm. some stuff in there and he had just, it was just like a perfect time. He had just recognized that stuff in the book as he was flipping through it. And uh, we, it didn't <clears> take long <throat> after that to, for him to come up with this idea of fight posters, like in world fight posters for. Coffee. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. I mean, and they and what's great about them is they do. Uh, how do I put this without sounding like they 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 recognize people for what they know. You know what I mean? They they don't try to. I'm sure they didn't. You know, um, dictate what they wanted from you. You know what I mean? It's yeah. it's they they just know what you guys are good at this. We are not. Yeah. And go do yeah. it. You know, show us what you love. And they pick people who do love the stuff. You know what I mean? Like they obviously have pick some good people who are really into it and, yeah. and, and things like that to, to do work for them. So yeah, it worked out. Great. Good guys. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you went from Krampus to uh, what next? Go uh, I, in I, and... I met, uh, I, well, I bought Arathir used from someone, I think it was in the cabal. And then uh, I think scaffold was the next one I picked up at. Um, oh. oh yeah. Zolocon, which they okay. happened to be at. And we had already been like, we had set this all up already. So I got to talk to Jeremy and meet corn boy. And perfect. It was, it was just a great, like just really smooth transition. I must've just missed you. Cause I was there in the morning and then I was talking to Eric about you afterwards on Sunday. Yeah. I okay. Think, yeah. Uh, I was, was just Saturday Sunday. or Sunday. Uh, maybe I it was, was uh, maybe yeah, there I was, maybe that was there Saturday. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. Um, yeah. I was very excited when he was showing me the stuff and talking about what he was, what you were going to do, man. It was uh, yeah. so exciting. It's, I couldn't it's, wait. It is surreal to me. Like I've been fans of theirs since like, I guess the first time I heard of them was when they were working for McFarlane. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's surreal to like actually be, you know, you yeah, I know <laughs> that's amazing. That, that, that packaging brings back so many. Right? Memories. That's it? amazing. Yeah. It look like you get the card that you can cut out too, the trading those card things, at the bottom there. I like said KB toys and Toys R Us trips and those yeah. KB like that stick that KB sticker that you KB showed. KB sticker, you can't beat that. Wow, that's you. freaking great. Um, okay, so that's how you got into Mythic Legions. Um, let's take a little bit of. Uh, so, how many you got now? How many do? You, how many do you have? Are you just starting a little? Well, part of the part of the deal, there? Jeremy and I worked out was like some back stock. Like, oh, very ah, nice. So, yeah, I didn't even yeah. work that out. Damn it, yeah. man. What the I, hell am I yeah. I, I, don't, I have maybe 12, maybe like a dozen at this point. Okay. So. Did they, they give you an oath, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> just checking. I'm just checking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I got to ask. No. Um, let's take a little bit of a break because I still have many, many questions. Sure. Um, Got to talk about some news that came out because this was the news. <laughs> Saturday was it. And then right. um, the only other thing that we had to talk about um, was was this, which Cornboy kind of dropped um, on – where did he drop that? On Leg he, Legion's Lair, right? Um, did he drop that? Yeah, I think that no, was, was, was on there 420, wasn't it? Wow. Yeah. Oh, it was, it was on the 420. That's right. He would yeah. jumped on the couch and, and told everybody that, the you know, if you, if you like Brontus, just wait. Um, yeah. So obviously we're getting a Brontus. This is, says uh, something big is coming. Um, you know, I don't know what that means. Actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's plural too. And well, that's announcements. The thing, yeah. And yeah, I was gonna. That's. Uh, does that's that what it says? The, it the, says uh, stay the tuned for a number of big a announcements. A number of big announcements coming yeah. soon. Okay, I'll let you take from that what you will. I have a quick. Um, being, being a newbie, I think I can get away with this one without losing any credibility. Are, <laughs> have, are these are these all uh, existing uh, characters, or is anything on here new? So the only thing that we have not gotten is that that guy way in the back there, that green That's sort of I, swampy, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, sort of googly eyed frog That's faced guy. Okay. So um, you know, got it. Could be that. Uh, but what they've done, I mean, we're we're coming up with an all star in July. They're going to announce the winners. Um, and generally with those things, I don't know if this is the way they're going to do it or not. Um, but there's there's a troll. And lately, at least the last couple of them, they've been doing a troll reissue with a with a different head as the feature head okay. repainted, repainted to fit that that color troll and um so anybody who missed out on the on the first original one which just came with one head you can get that and then you have an extra head to swap onto it um okay. with it's a new one of the other heads from one of the other trolls re you know reused for this um so there's only so many combinations of this um left uh so brontus is obviously one of them so i'm i'm assuming we'll get brontus with one of the other heads i don't know if it'll be i do know actually <laughs> Bill, I think um, the way you broke it down on uh, your recent show is pretty spot on. I think. Yeah, Bill. So yeah, if they you, follow the, if they follow the pattern, and yeah. it comes with a head, it's going to come with the stone troll head, and then, yeah. and then down the road, if they re-release the ice troll, the ice troll will come with the Brontus, Brontus head. head, which yeah. is actually what I assumed was coming next, because of the way that I, I kind of like laid out this pattern visually. Mm -hmm. Um, and the way the pattern like sort of wrapped around the thing was that it was it would have been the, the ice troll next, but Bill's got so a yeah, whole we'll wall see. with strings and pictures. And he's, he's like Charlie could, from Always Sunny. There, he's like, <laughs> I could probably pull it up. I mean, it's like it's just like you know the head that went pull from this one. Yeah, went, oh, up, yeah, let me see. Hold on. Yeah, that was smart the way he did um, it. Let's see here. And this is why you watch the door clear. So this Thursday, door clear will be on, and you know Bill's videos regularly so go subscribe subscribe here while bill's looking this up uh hit the like button we got uh, like, 46 subscribe. people in here hit that we have super chats if you got a specific question you know again we try to keep up with the chats but there's a lot going on and uh there's a lot to talk about tonight so okay so, uh so this, this. the stone troll came with the forest troll head and mm -hmm. then the forest troll came <laughs> with the <laughs> ice troll head and the, okay. the logical next step would have been for the um, oh God, you got pattern. Ice the ice troll to come with this. the Brontus head, but no, 
we're getting Brontus, so my theory is that he's going to come with the stone troll head, and maybe one day it'll like all wrap around and be Look at what you. it is. That's amazing. That Bill, is I good. want you to go through this, but I want you to sing it like in the, the leg bones connected to the yeah, yeah. bones. So. <laughs> you missed like, your calling, my friend. The that's Brady sure. Bunch or something? You should, that, you should have been a detective, man. That's that's pretty good <laughs> stuff right there. That's pretty cool. Um, we'll see if that's true. But, uh, What's up, Will White? Cool. Hey, Will, what's going on? All right, so that was that. That's just a teaser. Um, hopefully, we'll know a little bit more fairly soon. Um, so, so real quick before you yeah. blast off this, though, the, so mm -hmm. I think the logic with getting the um, the stone or the um, the Brontus with the stone troll head's good, but then now that we see that extra character up there, mm -hmm. that's very interesting because a lot of people obviously have been speculating. You know, big announcements going to be dragon. That's that's always in the discussion at some <laughs> yeah. point. So uh, here comes the dragon confirmed out there. posts. Yeah, <laughs> that um, that Earth or you know swamp troll or whatever that's been on packaging before, right? This isn't the yeah. first time we're seeing that. Yeah, right. Yep. Yep. Uh, I don't know what the mystery with that one is. Well, I guess maybe we'll find out. All right, um, and then Saturday. Uh, we had we just talked about Tom Sale. They are sold out. Um, if you did yeah, not get but one, but you can still get the T-shirts from uh, yes. Retro Rag. Retro Rags right? has and the T-shirts as well. They are super yeah, cool. I just Joe's ordered mine today. Us, so, yeah, I may just order the second one too. I picked one of them that I liked, and I'm like, you know what? I like them both. So I think I'm going to get both of them. <laughs> God knows, I could use a few more pop culture T-shirts, <laughs> right? Yeah, retro regs, they do a great job with the tees too. So shout out to those guys. They do. Guys. Yeah, I think I've been ordering with that. There's other stuff on there that I that I feel I need. So cool. Yeah, and yeah, I'll throw this out for Chris. Um, the Krampus sweater is still up right. there. It's uh, I think it's stuck at 25. We need 150 people to get that thing to get it done. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I ordered mine. I know Bill and I can only make up so many of them to like stash, stash them and like sell them later on when everybody's like, <laughs> sorry that they didn't get them. <laughs> um, so it's got a lot of ways to go. I put, I put mine in too. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a weird, it's, it's the middle of May, you know what I mean? I know. And it, it was, it was two months ago that they announced that. Right. So it was like just after Christmas, I think we'll get the holidays coming around. I think people will, uh, will probably jump on that. So, yeah, but it, they have to be they have to July. be sold by like July 20th, June, right? Or July. Yeah. I don't, yeah. It's not looking good. Yeah, no. that's true. I forgot it's about that. We need a yeah, campaign. We, we need some. We don't kind have of like, that long. Yeah, some kind of promotional campaign here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> uh, that's not my job. Whoa! What are these? Whoa! So, um, yeah, these have been uh, sitting around on my desk for a while. Uh, and this Sunday. explains your obsession with fury orcs over the yeah, last right? few months. No, it doesn't. See, somebody else said the same thing. Who who is saying this? Was it Kevin? Uh, somebody was just asking me, like, like, oh, now I know why you were looking for fury orcs. I'm like, no, man, I, I was looking for fury orcs before I even got these in hand. So no, it has nothing to do with that. Um, I did not tipping off anything with my my purchasing. Um, although if you want to buy a Brontus right now, um, I have one for sale. <laughs> Um, no, so, uh, yeah, Sunday I've been sitting on this and like this, this, I thought this was going to be a lot of fun and it turned out that it, it really was a lot of fun. Oh, right. Um, so if any of you missed this on Sunday, I'm sure you saw on the cabal. We know all about it. This is the furious four based on the, my wife is going to kill me guys. Um, which are they're you know, they've just been great, um, you know, uh, supporters of the Four Horsemen and the yep. Mythic Legion's line, both on that show with um, um, Legion, Legion's, Legion's cast, cast. <laughs> too many yep. Legion shows, Legion's <laughs> cast, and you know Steve Bashotti working with Len, and you know uh, Travis oh, yeah. buying stuff up and and hoarding it and selling it later for profit. Um, you know, just yeah, in I mean, any, he's any... he's a he's a, a retailer. Right. Yes, I mean, he yeah, he is yeah. actually a retailer. Yeah. Yep. He does. A lot, he does all the uh, toy shows. Yep. So, um, yeah, everybody but uh, Jeremy. But other than that, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get him in. We'll get him in. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So the four guys, uh, tribute figures. These are going to be available the first day. Was the first second, day, second day. day? Second Sunday. day. Yeah. Of Legions Con this year, this November. Um, it's going to be a two pack. You're going to get 
This is basically what you're going to get in the pack. Uh, the cat head and cat tail are going to be exclusive to the Legion's lounge or the, geez, the Legion's con uh, sale. Um, after that, you these will be available in a different form later on, um, like uh, Sir Gerard was as well. But with Sir Gerard, we got that extra head that you weren't supposed to get. Right, <laughs> so, yeah. well, we'll see if they make a mistake again and we get the cat head. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but then you can you you can buy two of them, uh, hundred bucks each, uh, two figures, all these accessories, and uh, then you could put together the uh, the Furious Four. Um, great names. I mean, I'm they're not going to go through all the bios here. If you didn't see them, they're they, they were, were very really apropos great. Great for, the, for the guys. Yeah. And this was they're just all... as Travis was reading the pelvicus. Uh, oh no, this was the Lord <laughs> Lord Bushadi, the Alpha. It was yeah. the first one they announced, and you can see Steve just about ready to <laughs> lose his shit. <laughs> oh my god, I love it! They were dying. It was great. It was a great moment. Very, very so cool. funny. Um, and then you go from this picture to there, and there you go. Yeah. All the boys, incredible, sitting around. Just check out all the details in here. So this good. is a lot of fun um, to do this. Like they didn't ask me to do like that. They wanted a group shot. Um, and I started thinking about it. And I'm like, I got to do, I mean, you know, I could have done like a battle scene or something like that. I'm like, I got this table. I got all these chairs. I've got to put these guys around the table, like the way yeah. they sit. Mm -hmm. And then it just kept going. There was just, I'm like, oh, I can put the skull in there. That'll be old man Kyle. And then this. a lot of great <laughs> Easter eggs. Yeah. The uh, uh, so D and D dice for Pete, yeah. the TMT. If you're a fan of the yeah. show, it's fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and it was fun for me because I know these guys would appreciate the humor in it. So I just, uh, it just kept going. And now I'm going to add some more stuff. And we'll, I think we'll have prints of this available at uh, Legion's Con too. Cool. So, Trevor, I, I don't want to sidetrack the news, but how long does something like this take you to, to pull, like, from top, like, all, all told to pull this together? Um, this one came to get, I mean, it, you know what it is? It's, it's kind of, I'm, I'm sure it's with you too. Like, it's kind of like if you're. It's not like you're if there's a motivation or yeah. there's something that's just clicking, things are firing. So this yeah. came together fairly quick, but it was still, um, I'm going to say this was a couple hours to put together, you know, things fell. Yeah. Right. You know, as, as they always do. Uh, this is actually two shots put together because they only gave me two bodies. Um, oh, wow. so I had to put them on one side, shoot everything like that, move the guys to the other side, shoot everything like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's just moving things around. Not a big deal, but just uh, putting them together. So I would say it's like maybe and then editing some of that stuff is maybe right. four or five hours. It's, something it's, like that. Yeah. Yeah. So good. So good. I love the uh, the engraving in the door. The my wife's going to kill me initials up there. Yeah. It's all kinds of good yeah. stuff. Great details. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put some more stuff in there. I think I just I, I it was on a time constraint. And then as I thought about it more and watched the show more, I'm like, oh, I should have put that in there. So we'll say, oh, we got a super chat. Thank you, Curtis. <laughs> uh tom this is the thing that i'm i'm here all the time is that i have to stay in my lane because i do some painting too and uh, steve bashotti does not care for me in, infringing on his territory so he tells me to stay in his lane so that uh yeah that's i think that's pretty much it that was the big news for uh legions con there is another uh exclusive that's going to be available on saturday um i have seen that i don't know if the, i don't know what it is i don't know what it is i mean i know what it is but i don't know you know what it is so mm. we'll see i uh, don't know what the what's mm. going to come of that but um it's, and, it's also um, very cool <laughs> and i know we've we've kind of teased this and i'm going to tease it yet again because we still don't have a lot of details but speaking of legions con mm. we are going to be putting together an after hours gig and i know jeremy Kind of mentioned that, um, you know, talking about, you know, working with Pete and uh, yep. you wit, do it, um, will be part of the show. So more details on that to come. So stay tuned. But uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with that for sure. Cool. Yep. Yeah, we're going to we're working on that. I did want to mention one more thing. The um, uh, God, what is his name? Oh, mm, um, can't think of it on well, Instagram, but uh, somebody that. from uh, the French Mythic Legions Toy Photographers Group. So if you are oh. in France, um, they're doing a tag, uh, Mythic Legions France. Um, so if you're hmm. you know, a French toy photographer who collects Mythic Legions, uh, which I don't think is as much of a niche as it sounds, <laughs> um, 
join the join the tag mythic legions cool. france um we, we, yeah, we. i can pull that i can pull that up real quick and we can take a look at that tom where i forget where you are are you gonna be making it to uh legions con this year you think oh, i'm in lancaster pennsylvania so it's not oh. it's oh it's not, cool it's not far from me however i was like all geared up i'm like absolutely and then i realized it's the weekend of uh my dad and i go had been going to uh we're, we're notre dame football fans we had been going out for 26 years out oh, to man. south bend and we had we had we stopped when the pandemic started and we decided this year that we're going to go to the game in baltimore when they're playing out here playing navy so that's mm -hmm. i think it's the same saturday I haven't really confirmed it. I'm afraid to look, but I, I may try to make it out for Sunday, though. So, cool. yeah, okay. you know, I'd like to hang out with, you know, after hours and stuff. But uh, that may be my involvement. Right on. Yeah, that's that's an important thing. man. Stuff yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, some cool stuff here. Very good. So go check out uh, hashtag Mythic Legions France and cool. uh, join. I, I'm assuming you have to be part of that. Uh, niche in order to do that but uh you can ask maybe you could just get involved i don't know all right um tom more questions grilling questions now sure um first of all tom you've never seen the godfather <laughs> what the hell man you're the first person to call me out on that yeah yeah, yeah. right <laughs> come on let's remedy that all right let's, let's yeah uh, but... let's, let's get that done <laughs> okay all right that's my homework that's my homework. godfather godfather 2 don't even bother with godfather 3 okay i've got kind of gotten that vibe from yeah don't have to worry about it yeah you're a bit of a metalhead yeah definitely um top five favorite metal bands megadeth um Ooh. metallic i have to put up there too you kind of have to yeah. anthrax mm -hmm. better say it you better say it Oh man! Now, now there's prayer. You're, you're 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 waiting for Slayer, and it's on the no. oh wow, wow man! Why am I blanking on on all this? Here's a hint. You have you have the shirt. What what are you looking for? Iron I'm, Maiden. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I, I'm I'm I'm, I'm oh. having like I'm having like panic. I know, no, it's like you're on a you're on a game show now. It's like yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually I have my iTunes open. I'm like I, I'm scrolling quickly. Um, I thought for sure you're thinking of somebody else, Trevor. A three letter. Well, yeah, well, I mean, Maiden for, for sure, and actually, I think I asked you about one on on um, on Kevin's show about if you had ever done a poster for this. Person. Real white, he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna, I'll just, I'll just Dio. Play. Dio, yeah, uh, very... I love Dio, I love Dio. I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put him not in top play. five, no, top five. But, um, if, if I have to fill in one more spot, I'll go with uh, <clears throat> Sabbath. Sabbath, oh, definitely. Yep, yeah. thank you, thank yeah. you for thank yeah, you, you gotta have Sabbath, right? Life, I mean, yeah. Like, yeah, absolutely, yeah. you gotta have Sabbath, yeah. Oh, did you hear? But side note, I yes. just, just did you hear that there's going to be a Spinal Tap uh, sequel? Have yeah. You guys seen, have you seen Spinal Tap? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And I, I tweeted about this the other day. It was I think it was Sunday, and it, it uh, oh, they announced it on the Hollywood Reporter, and it was Spinal Tap two, and it was a Roman numeral two. And I said yeah. I read that Spinal Tap eleven, 11. and if they don't <laughs> name it Spinal Tap eleven, it's a complete failure. Yes. Oh my Great God, call yes. on that. All the way up to eleven. Oh, yeah. that would be great. I mean, <laughs> just, have to do and just don't ever explain it. Just call it Spinal right. Tap 11 and don't ever explain it. That's yeah, hilarious. yeah, yeah, exactly. Or, or Spinal Tap 3 would be funny too. And just like, just never explain that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if, I wonder if Nigel Tufnell is coming back or uh, not Nigel Tufnell. Um, what was uh, Paul Schaefer's uh, character, the manager there? Oh. Uh, I can't remember. Kick my kick my ass. Kick my ass for a man. <laughs> uh I want figures of that. That's what I want. You know what I want? I want I want another side note. I want more musician figures. We were talking about this in the one six pack the other day. Like I want one six or one twelve figures of, of like that. Metallica or Iron Maiden. I would, yeah, I would totally the, pay for that stuff. Did Farland do he did those the, the Metallica Kiss. figures. Oh, he did, did the Metallica one. Yeah, that was a great set. Yeah. They were great, but I would if they did those like redid those in modern yes. articulation? I would be, I'd be totally in for that'd be rad, totally with with any articulation would be great. Yes, yeah. true, true, true. 
That's Super so Seven just so announced cool. uh, yes. they're doing the the Minotaur from the uh, Show No Mercy album. They've done it as five as um as the reaction, but they're doing yeah. an Ultimates version of that Slayer monster guy. Oh, I didn't I didn't see that, but that is that's a good like um because I know they've done reaction of Eddie's too from um. Uh, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. That, like yeah. that makes. I've been. That's something I'm waiting for. Like that has to come at some point, yeah. right? Like, yeah. I can't see that not being a, a good matchup. Neca's Neck, yeah. done some Eddies, right? Two or yeah, more, at least. Oh, yeah. Yep. Neca did an Eddie. Uh, well, they've done a bunch of them. They did the the powers. Yeah, they've done all most of the covers. Yeah. At this point, most they're the. the uh, they do them with the clothed ones, which I j- I understand why they do them that way. I just I don't love the the eight inch like with the clothing on. Yeah. I. It's it's. It seems like it would be good, but when you get them out of the package, I did get the power slave one. I took a shot with it; it looked pretty good, but I, just the articulation isn't there. And I, I just like, I'd like something that's just more. I don't need the cloth uh, for that. Same here. So. Yeah, I'd rather sculpt that kind of stuff. I just want in plastic. Uh, yeah. Mister Bungle is good. Faith No More. Great. Yeah. Um, have you I ever love, approached a, a band on your own and said, "I'd love to do work for you," or has it been the other way around that you've got? Yeah, no, yeah. it usually does come to me and i can't remember who oh it was uh clutch uh, a year or so ago i sent them i just made like a a graphic of all the bands i had worked with and said hey basically the same pitch i gave to um the four horsemen and they, yeah. they never responded which is fine i i don't i don't bear any ill will and i know a lot of bands yeah. work with management companies um and they it, it all has to go through channels so right sure, yeah. it's that probably just gets shipped off to somebody else who's going yeah, through a ton of stuff yeah um, How right. often do you do that as far as any other properties where you instigate, you kind of go after something that sort of, you know, is something that has personal meaning maybe to you, or you've got an idea ahead of time? Um, not very often, but like if I feel connected to, to a, a band, a property, a, a, a line like mythic legions, I'll, I'll reach out. And if it, like I said, I, I don't ever get upset if it doesn't work, but mm-hmm. yeah. Like if I take ten shots and one or two work, then it's sure. It, yeah. It's one of my you, uh, one of my um, philosophies: if you don't ask, the answer is always no. So yeah, exactly. Kind of approach yeah. it that way. You're you're good. Yeah. Yeah. I try not to build up. I try not to get too even. Even like when Jeremy reached back out, I was like, all right, this is like I'm super excited about this, but I'm not gonna like get upset if something somewhere along the way doesn't happen. But then as falls it apart, right? progressed and it, it it you know, thankfully that was that was like. And super easy. Hey, this this just in too from Kevin. Notre Dame oh, plays Navy. Man. Breaking news. <laughs> well, that so. may be very good news. That may be very good news. Cool. I so not, we, see. Like I said, I was I, I I got those dates close in my head. And I'm like, I just I, I don't want to. I don't want to. You're avoiding. I was avoiding. <laughs> that's actually. That's not look. Not only do we expect to see you there, but we expect you to have watched The Godfather by then. Okay. Yeah. I will not I will not show up if I haven't seen at least the first one. <laughs> right on. Um, yeah, you touched on that a little bit uh, in terms of like picking things to work with or trying to go out there and find things to work with. I know stuff comes to you, obviously. Um, do you ever do you ever turn anything away that you just don't have interest in? And how is that? A... Never. Or at this ne- point, do you really just have a kind of a steady stream of you know what's coming and they know who you are and what you want to do. And yeah, there are times when I get stuff and I'm like, I don't know if this is like a perfect fit, but, and then I ask, mm-hmm. like I start to, I, I, I'll typically ask more questions up front on those jobs. Okay. Um, and is it, is it, do you, you enjoy, do you enjoy the challenge of that? Cause I know you said you, you don't, you didn't know anything about power Rangers. I, I wouldn't yeah. have known anything about power Rangers. I've gotten, you know, people have sent me a figure. Hey, can you take a picture of this figure? And it's from a video game that I've I've never played. And now I feel like, you know, I have to do research to figure out like how to shoot this thing. You know what I mean? And if it's a job, it's one thing. That's fine. I'll do that. Um, but do you do you enjoy that? Like the challenge of um, trying something different and yeah. seeing if yeah, you, you can get your style into that? Yeah, there's definitely some jobs where it's actually more freeing, not having like 20 mm-hmm. years of back history of like knowing a movie and the panic of like, am I going to get the essence of this movie into this image it's mm, like it means so much to you or whatever yeah right. you're just closer like, to it yeah my favorite movie is predator and i still have not done a predator poster because i don't know mm. i don't like yeah. I, I don't even know like i'm still like i'm locked up i've been locked up on years for it i don't know what i would even do huh. uh, i funny. feel like i like i just I'm, i've been again i'm avoiding it um <laughs> but no, there is there is definitely a, a freedom in um 
not knowing uh, something so in and out that I can just jump in and kind of take it as it hits me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's, that's interesting because I would be, I would think that that's there's a little more pressure there because like you want to get it right and try to figure out like am I am I coming at this from the right angle? Yeah. Uh, because I know that you know I mean from a fandom standpoint, you know people will pick things apart for any little thing. You know what I mean? It's like if you don't know enough about it, God forbid you have the lightsaber in the wrong hand or that's the wrong hilt from the wrong absolutely. era. You know what I mean? It's yep, like, forget about it. Yeah. And uh, one one like project that did work out like that and it i have never seen maybe i don't think i had ever seen any of the universal monsters uh movies front to back when i i Mm -hmm. I worked on a portfolio of 10 different prints that were sold as a set for universal monsters and as much as like as iconic as those those movies are i was like i've I've never seen any of them like i've just you just know like the, the stills basically yeah 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 yep um so so that so you had there was something that came out of that that was uh well it was just it was just nice to just watch the movie and like interpret it oh in doing the research for it doing the research of like not having to like like knowing whatever i was gonna learn watching the movie is what i was gonna all i had to like compress into a poster yeah that is probably good because it's all fresh too you know what i mean it's like you're not like um again you're not coming at it with a lot of baggage and it's like oh my god i gotta get oh if i don't i gotta put that in there yeah you know it's like and it's just like no i i got the essence of wolfman yeah forest moon got it it's good that was the that was it so um um um, this is me being naive about i guess the business and stuff but are you would you be considered a triple threat knowing design illustration and typography or does that sort of all come together in design or how does that sort of Work. Well, I think, I think when you're doing posters, unless it, you you have to have some ability to combine them, and, and I I try I really try to integrate them and, and and put a lot of as much thought into the the first the the most important thing to me is the composition and making sure it the the image flows. And there's usually I have like I have a collage type style, so I want to make sure if I'm putting a lot of junk in the blender. Like the smoothie tastes good, and it's not just a lot of junk in a blender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like to me, the the balance is uh, making all those work together. And mm-hmm. uh, there, you know, any poster designer is going to have. I don't want to. I don't want to step on any toes, but I, I see some work, some um, especially gig poster work, where it's a gorgeous rendered image, and mm-hmm. there's like a generic font thrown at the bottom, like mm-hmm. out, and it just, like my. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. My son has a really good eye. Um, he's he's uh, going to be 14. And he and I were like looking through posters the other night. And we're like, he was, he was, the stuff that he was verbalizing was the exact stuff that it was bothering me about it. Like the images <laughs> were gorgeous. And he's, and he's like, that typeface just doesn't work. So yeah, like somebody else did it or as an afterthought. Or, him well. yeah. It felt like it was just like part of the assignment. And it was the last 1% of the job. Yeah. And it's so me, funny. That, that just doesn't, I can't. I can't separate the two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, it's, it, it definitely goes hand in hand. I mean, it, it, it can ruin, it can ruin the design. Yeah, um, and, and any little thing, like, it's funny when you're, you probably do this too. Like when I was, my wife, wife and I were first uh, married, we'd been a day for long, but um, we, we got to restaurants and I would, I would look at a menu and I go like, what is, what is this typeface they're using? Yep. This? What absolutely. Is this? What the absolutely. hell is this? This fit does not fit the atmosphere of this thing. It's unreadable. <laughs> yep. Like whatever. She'd be like, what are you eating? Like, yeah, right, like, right. What do you, who well, cares? I'm like, it's very, it's wrong. It's so, wrong. Yeah. My, I'm my wife talk is to the a, manager. <laughs> my wife is a graphic designer as well. So we have, oh boy. <laughs> and especially like we are, we just moved to this house uh, mm. about a year and a half ago. And, Everybody was like, "Well, wait till you get the design." We we built the house uh, through a oh, through a builder, cool. and everybody was like, "Wait till you get to the design meeting. You're gonna like everybody like has a rough day that day." We were we we're so on the same page with as far as like visuals. That's great. We can do that that thing where we go to a restaurant and you're like, we just like point at something like, "What are they?" And like we we know <laughs> we have that. That's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's great. Wow. Yeah. I mean, decorating a house when you both have the same sort of aesthetic and design eye, that's either, either that's going to be good 
or it's going to be trouble. Exactly. We don't. <laughs> we think probably... the things you have to get down to when you're building a house, like the color of the grout in the guest bathroom. Exactly. Like, are you yeah. fucking kidding me? I got to make yeah. that decision exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. There, was, there was like zero, like everything, every option was like we were on the same page. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. That's yeah. great. Yeah, my wife just leaves that to me. She's given up. <laughs> so, have you guys seen the papyrus skit, the Ryan Gosling yes. papyrus yes. skit? Yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm, I'm disappointed they 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 migrated away from papyrus for the for the trailer for the next Avatar. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's not papyrus anymore. <laughs> Mark says, Tommy scared the hell out of me when he filled the mission <laughs> maiden almost immediately in the top five. I knew they would be there for a laugh. Ask him his least favorite maiden song. Oh, Ooh, can I play with madness? I, this is my oh, favorite, Mark. Yeah. Really? That song just grates me every time. I, I just can't. Like, I love their entire catalog. That song just, like, slays me. See, just the fact that they had Graham Chapman from Monty Python in the in the video saves that one for me. That's that's a good. Okay. <laughs> there's, I mean, there's there's earlier stuff before Bruce with uh, with uh, Paul Diano that I could definitely put at the bottom of the list if you're counting okay. that. But uh, yeah, I mean, that wasn't a great. Uh, there's some good out songs on that album. Though. Oh no, the album's fine. I just don't like that. Yeah. Song. That's, okay. That's, that. Thank you for bringing that up, Mark. And I, yeah, I'm sorry I gave him a heart attack with that. <laughs> I need I needed some coaching on that question. Yeah, really. So, Tom, um, looking uh, behind you, what uh, have you? I mean, we got to talk about what kind of toy collector you yeah, are. Yeah, that's what you collect. Go How long you've been collecting? I I when probably before my son was born, I had like trimmed everything down. I was like, I'm done. I think I'm done with toys. And then for some reason, I started. I forget how I got connected with uh, Randy at NECA. I don't know if I was doing work with him or we met through someone through a mutual friend and he sent me some NECA stuff and I was like, Oh my God, I think I'm back in again. <laughs> and then it, that was really the like, first the, one's free. The, yep. Yep. That was the, the, um, the snowball that's been, mm -hmm. that's been rolling ever since. But right now I'm into, uh, I was heavily into the, uh, figure arts, star Wars, which seems, and, and Bill, I used to watch your channel. That's when I first started watching you when you were doing reviews of, of those, when they were like, yeah. like when they were first starting they were when they were coming out. Yeah. Yeah. And now, <laughs> and it, like, it was such a disappointment when, I don't know, it was, I think it was like Winterfest a couple years ago. They just showed like all those prototypes, like wicked, yeah. and the, the, the traffic cone, uh, Padme. I'm like, Oh, this is just good. And then they just, that it feels like it died right there. Yep. They still haven't made an empire strikes back figure. If yeah. that's if that's believable, they it's still haven't made it. That not is one. unbelievable. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. I did just get that. Uh, well, they they called it the Mando Luke, but it's really not the Mando Luke. It's really Return of the Jedi Luke. But it is mm. the cape is terrible. Um, the cloak is awful. But okay. that sculpt is killer. It's really, oh, is really that, good. Is that the one you're talking? You just showed and you said, yeah, I put her in my story today. Hot it's, Toys got it's the best. Okay, I wondered who that was. It's the best yeah, sculpt period. Great. Like Hot Toys hasn't hit that level of, uh, yeah, of that's notoriously, he's, he's a notoriously tough face. I, very, I very hard. So I, when, when I was like a black series snob, I'm like, I don't want those. They don't, they've, they've come a long way. Mm -hmm. So I collect the characters that mean stuff, mean something to me now. Cause it, it yeah. feels like figure arts are, you know, pretty yeah. much done after that i know i would have a, you know what's great um is the the vintage uh series the vintage collection in star wars is looking a lot better than the black series like you mean the five in detail oh, you mean the three three and three quarters no the vintage collection yeah, yeah the, the three yeah, and three, three quarters quarter. it's it's yeah. amazing man it's yeah, really really good here. yeah they've come a long way yeah, yeah you yeah, were really... showing that off the other day he looks i mean the paint jobs are as good if not better than the black series yeah. at a small if, if i wasn't so heavy in the in the black series, I'd consider them, but yeah, I, I can't. just can't. <laughs> I can't pivot. You know, I'm starting yeah, to slowly I, I bring did. them in. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I pretty I much I switched. I mean, that. Hot Toys really helped me decide. Like, once I got heavier into Hot Toys, like having three, I I, I got to the point where I was really kind of actively collecting three scales. And I said, one of these has to go. <laughs> so yeah. the middle one went, right? Yeah. Like yeah. the small ones, I can have vehicles and stuff. And then the big ones yeah. are like my, my real display pieces. So yeah, yeah the vehicles and, is a good, that's a good um, tipping point to use as, as a way to go that way. I know yeah. you yeah. mentioned the, uh, I forget the company who's making the predator. Um, but I just picked up 
um, some acid rain and I'm getting some joy. Oh, nice. oh boy. Yeah. These, those are, nice. those are Dude, amazing. These are yeah, cool. I, felt, I felt the same way about that's probably, you're talking about the one I opened on Kevin's show. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, it the was little Hyatt, predator, right? Hyatt toys. It was un- toys, yes. unbelievable. Three and three quarter. And I was like, this, there's no way that this is, I, I just kept looking at him like this is it's amazing. I'm getting I got the same. I opened this up and, and I had a couple of other um, some of the older ones um, that I hadn't really played around with. But I saw this one and, I'm, and I bought this um, this this sort of bike vehicle, which is the, that's the greatest thing about it. You can get that's vehicles. So cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's fantastic. And it's just got uh, that fantasy art, um, sci fi fantasy yeah. art vibe to it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Vibe. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, and like, this is the same feeling I had with Mythic Legion. So that's very dangerous. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But, and that's that's a like, property, right? That's like that's a yeah. That's their, own, their own thing. Yeah. Their yeah. Own thing. Cool. They have alien stuff. The Hyatt Toys does aliens as well. I, I don't yeah. know. I heard mixed reviews about those. I don't know. If, I think they look really cool. I don't know. Yeah, they look. I've look. I was looking at them in my comic book shop, and I think probably when they're posed, they'll look better. But in the they're so spindly, like especially the xenomorphs. It, I like, guess. I think, yeah. They don't look like they have a solid base. Like when I, I guess that was the the uh, uh, the, the the criticism of them, and and they weren't very movable because yeah. of that, or they were tough to pose or something like mm. that. Yes, yes, they are blind deep black holes, and yes, I'm done because <laughs> I've already <laughs> ordered more. Oh yeah, boy, more coming. Yeah. yeah, that's my slope with the uh, the Joy Toy 125th with the mechas and you know oh these the mechas. Guys. So cool, man. Yeah, I've been. But dope, the, you know, the thing is, there now. you need new dios now. Now we need. New I know. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys leave your dioramas like out on display, or do you like put them away to take pictures and then? I, yeah, I, I put them away the because I just don't have the room to. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're they're all made, you know, to be for the most part to be collapsible, so uh, just held together by magnets and stuff for okay. the most part, and. uh <clears throat> on the other side of all this crap, I have like walls of, of that stuff. Um, I just bought it. I'm gonna shout out to um, Jesus. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'll do it next show. <laughs> it's too much to talk about. Um, let's see. I had some other. Questions. What else do you so, in time? Collecting wise. So, uh, so I'm I'm a gigantic Godzilla fan. So I oh, I yes right. I don't the X plus stuff is like the Mythic Legions. I don't know if you're familiar with X plus, but um, I had one other pieces at one point. Yeah, it's it's just like impeccably painted, and for the most part, there's there's yeah. a couple there's a couple outliers, but um, impeccably painted and sculpted. They're more sculptures than they're soft vinyl. Okay. They don't. There's very little uh, posability on them. They're okay. just basically there's there's statues made of vinyl, pretty much. Were you into the monster art stuff at all? Or yeah, I have like right behind my head that that shelf with Mothra. Oh, I can see Mothra. Yep. Those are pretty much all monster arts, and I just nice. bought the um, Mecha Godzilla from the last film, and the uh, nice. the anime Godzilla just came in. So yeah, those those I, I still love those. I love I loved Godzilla. I mean, I and I still love Godzilla. I really avoided those because of the just the price of those monster arts and They're the size cool. of them. And I was like, I I know I'm not going to have any place to put these, and I'm going to spend the money on them, and I'm going to want them all because you can't just have you know a sampling of those you gotta have everybody yeah it, and that's a lot <laughs> i love the feel of those because it's almost mm. like a movable sculpture they're yes. hard i don't yeah. know if you've ever held one but they're i have yeah like, i guess they're resin or not maybe not resin but they're somewhere in between resin and, and like a really it's a hard, hard plastic yeah i played with uh Ghidorah, i think um yeah. somebody had it and i was like oh i really i really really want to get this i really do and luckily they were hard to find after a while. So I, yeah. I didn't. Uh, There's I a bit of a gamble back. with some of them too, because I know like some of them have paint app issues and which is a bummer. Mm. If, and the, the Mecha, uh, the Mecha Godzilla uh, from the, the latest movie, uh, like half of them arrived with broken like pistons in the legs. Like it was oh, a major geez. issue. Wow. That $460 yeah. figure is kind yeah. of, That's kind not of crazy. Good. Yeah. That is uh, a lot. But and you're getting those from overseas too, so it's very hard to, uh, you know, exactly. send that back and get a yeah. replacement or whatever. Yeah. Uh, other uh, than that, uh, the uh, Super Seven stuff, I've been getting just a few Thundercats. I'm, I don't have to. I definitely don't need the full run of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and just picking and choosing like a couple of the Transformers uh, Ultimates. Um, cool. That's pretty diverse. I, I, yeah. I pick and choose a lot of stuff. It's not yeah. like I'm not like 
complete us with yeah, yeah not a complete us with anything yeah. Yeah, yeah that's cool that's the way to be I, th I find collections like that i mean i can't i'm a completist with mythic legions um but i kind of i kind of admire other people's collections who just it could be anything you know what i mean yeah. it's just stuff that meant something to you um you know from your childhood or whatever and, and it's just representation like you said i got one yeah. thundercat i don't need all the thundercats i just yeah, right, I, right. I like thundercats there he is uh, there's whatever his name is I'm not a thundercats guy i don't know <laughs> anything about thundercats um so tom were you able to jump on that i'm assuming the last um if not the first cosmics i'm assuming the last the second cosmic wave did you jump on that and if so yeah. would you end up getting i wound up getting all uh, in no i didn't do all in I, I i'm afraid to do that because just because of space wise and i mm. still have like this office is pretty new so i still like the all the that that half is pretty full but these two walls are still empty however okay. um i've just been picking and choosing pretty much uh i just got uh novian lean from this mm -hmm. the one that kind of predator looking mm -hmm. yeah and um I got from the first wave, I think I got uh, Kragnar and uh, blank. I should know the names, but I'm, I'm blank. I just got two from the first wave. Gotcha. Thanks, Tom. Tom's got to, I was jumping bust my balls. Um, <laughs> Kevin did say on his show too, that you, there is a lot of room now though. You do have a lot of room. And I know. You said yeah, you're I, getting I, new shelves right back there. Yeah. You're going to replace those with some other shelves. Yeah. 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 And there's, I'm, I'm like figuring out my riser system. So there, there's, there's some space back there. <laughs> the, That's the, not the fun though too, man. It's, it's, what's not fun is when you're filled to capacity and like, now I've got to figure out what the hell has got to go or, mm -hmm. or how to squeeze yet another. Yeah. <laughs> half a foot out of something so that i can right. put, i don't know it's yeah. and it gets a little crazy the i bought the uh that sky striker from hasbro the uh crowd crowdfunded one. Oh, really nice yeah 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 i, I don't have a spot for it i i just I could, <laughs> well I could. that you can hang from the ceiling though. yeah i know i know i think that's where it's going to wind up yeah. but uh that's another like I, i'm pretty in on the uh classified the gi joe classifieds oh yeah and i you i had ordered a bunch of the super sevens Oh, yeah, okay. Because yep. they're so locked into that Sunbow cartoon, but I think I think a few of those, and I'm going to be okay. Um, yeah, I just can't do both. Do both lines. Any chance of you doing one of those packaging packages? Because I know they're talking to a bunch of different artists to do. He did. Uh... Yeah, I did. Oh, you did. Yeah, I did. Um, I did Alley Viper. Oh yes, that's right. Oh, and shit, I did yeah. uh, Zark. They the did orange a... and blue. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. The orange and blue, of course. Yeah. And I did. Uh, uh, I did a special bartender. Cool. Very cool. Did you mentioned something about three seven five. Somebody's doing three seven five GI Joes. Yeah, Super Seven is doing like five POAs and oh, not five POA. Oh, I thought you meant like uh, almost like the Joy Toy stuff. The yeah, the Hyatt number. Toys has they. Uh, teased, oh yeah, that's right. That's what you said. The, they they at the beginning of the I year didn't they see that. Like a, they put out a um like a graphic with like silhouettes of all the properties they were gonna show off. Oh, hmm. I do remember yeah, that. I forgot was, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they just showed their Godzilla That's gonna be nuts. Stuff. They just showed Godzilla stuff last week, and it looks phenomenal. Really, it's fifty bucks. It looks it looks almost like a Monster Arts. Wow, what's the scale on that? Seven inches. Hmm. It looks really good. Oh, like yeah. that, I could get into. It looks really good. They just showed like full images this week. Because then you only need like five inch buildings. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I could build an easy dial with that. I always yeah. wanted to do the kaiju stuff. Like, there's some guys that do great kaiju photography, but then you got to go and buy the buildings, you know, and get tons of them and break them and, you know, yeah. paint them right. and stuff like that. I'd just love to have that. Yeah. Um, very cool. Um, a project like what do you like? How long does that take you from, from now? You know what? Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> Forget that. That's too like. What's a dream IP? Like, what's something that you haven't worked on yet that you would love to work on? Is there anything that you would really like to yeah, I, get into? I've had this question before, and I, I just can't come up with anything that, like, that I haven't touched yet. Because I feel mm, there's been wow. so much that I've had the, the benefit of. I'd love to partner with Nike. Like, I think they, they seem, it feels like they hire, no, I don't know the inner workings of that company. But yeah. I feel like, when they hire artists, they just let them run free they, yeah. the, the stuff they come up with is, is crazy yeah. um, um 
Yeah, yeah there, I don't have I don't I don't have one IP. I, I always used to say Godzilla, like Toho and mm-hmm. Godzilla. You've done that. I had the good fortune of like making a series of posters for Mondo that's ongoing, and yeah. that that is that's still pretty thrilling for me. Yeah, but, those are beautiful, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull those up again. Thank you. Um, there it is. <clears throat> it's one of them anyway. Love that. Yeah, gorgeous. That's Godzilla toys. Yeah. If you go to uh, latest, there's um, okay. There's uh, a bunch of the newer ones, like the uh, the third one up at the top, the Biolante one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Biolante, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. wow. That's rad. Amazing. What's the um? What's your? I don't know your process or whatever for doing variant colors. So, mm. the it's funny because the. The English version is the color that I worked it up in. So, like, I spent the better part of two weeks working on that in those colors. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. that looks good to me. And then I usually do the variants at the very end. So, Mm -hmm. with these, it's a little bit different because the variant has uh, Japanese text. So, it takes a little bit more time to to work the variant up on this. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, let's just, like, completely just go, like, almost psychedelic and it I could sometimes these hit in like five minutes and sometimes it takes me an hour and a half to, mm-hmm. to, to get it like and the way I build the file in Illustrator, if that's a nine color um nine spot colors in Illustrator, I can just go in and like re edit each color and it, it globally changes it. So it's not it's not mm-hmm. a tedious process to actually go in and like change every color. It's mm-hmm. more about trying to come up with another colorway that is completely different and still works there's, together there's right? to it. And it, yeah, it has a different feel to it. Yeah. That this is fantastic. Amazing. Amazing. I love this color. And there's actually a third that we oh. haven't shown yet. Um, oh, wow. Your colorway. That's apps. That's even more bonkers. And what we're <laughs> in on is like, like, I, I can't wait to show that one. Off. That's the other thing. Like you buy these, you don't see this here, but there are some of these things. Like I just bought the battle, Battlestar Galactica one um oh right yeah that was on like brushed metallic oh man it was uh it it, it looks great here yeah Mm. until you i would take it out but i yeah it's gorgeous like it's all all that gray is like a like a brushed metal it's beautiful that's really really cool at least some of it some of it comes through it's yeah wherever it shows through yeah really really cool um Yeah. yeah Just amazing stuff, man. I have a question oh, couple... about your uh, your relation to Disney. Um, are you a huge fan, Tom, or um, I have a lot to Tom is asking, do you think or does it just fit your style? Those classic films too well not to do them or. Yeah, I think I, small? whenever I get a Disney assignment, I'm always super, super excited. Like I, I'm never like, oh, geez, I don't really. I'm not into it. I don't, I don't watch like, I don't, I'm not a Disney fan on the same level that I'm a Godzilla fan or a star Wars fan or, um, you know, eighties horror fan. Mm -hmm. Um, But I, I, I love just about every, everything I've, um, all the Disney stuff that I've seen. Yeah. The stuff you've done for him is amazing. Yeah. This we, I went, I just did these for fun. I made patches up. That's cool. Well, that that it. reminds me. Yeah, you did. You do pin work too, right? Yeah, you still doing a lot of that. Yeah, I was doing like we were on a I'm trying to find heck of a run at Mondo doing the Marvel like little Marvel heads, um, and that's starting to kick back up again, which is which is super fun. Cool. I know you had some. I was going to ask you about like doing. Not so much this. I mean, I can see this. This actually. You know, I mean, the look of these characters sort of fits your style, but you had done like a Peanuts um, Snoopy uh, piece, which I can't seem to find now. I don't know why. You just passed it. Did I? Oh, there it is right there. There's there's one holiday special. (laughs) Um, So how is it like, I mean, is it like picking up and and trying to, I love the way you did this too. Just like the split down with the nose, with the shadow. That's fantastic. I I didn't see that a lot. You really didn't register. Yeah. yeah that's kind of become like a like a hallmark of my style and yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's funny because i just did that one time on a piece of like a, a little joker illustration that i put in a show and i was like well this seems like a cool way to approach this and it, it wasn't like my style at the time it was just mm-hmm. 
I was just trying it and it, it clicked. And then I tried it again. It, I don't, I don't remember exactly what project that people started asking for that look, but it, I feel like that, it, that allows me to put my, my look on and, and still respect all the, all the lines and shapes of a character. Like the, the license right. holders usually are very agreeable to that. Right. It's a weird thing. Like it's, it's my style over top of their characters, but yeah, it, it still works as mine and theirs, which, yeah. which is great. It, it's, it reminds me like when I was in school, which I'm, well, I'm sure I'm older than you, but um, it's like that, that cut paper. Like you used to have to do that cut film and stuff like that before there were yep. computers. Um, and it reminds me of that, that cut paper feel and, and just it's light and shadow, right? I mean, it's yeah, like, right. basically that's all you're doing. It's not like you're, yeah. no, it's you're not making really. them into a Picasso or anything right. like that. You're just bake, breaking down their characters, drawing them as they're drawn. And yet, I mean, that had, takes on a whole different look and, and yet that's Charles Schultz. I mean, that looks, right. you know, who, right. exactly who that is and it looks exactly like it. Yeah. It's funny you mentioned that. Cause I used to work exclusively in cut paper in college. Like, did you like, no shit. you be a year and a half. And I remember wow. my, my my teacher was like you've got to get on you've got to get an illustrator i'm like no no no, i'm good i'm good <laughs> and then it wasn't until like i That's left so funny. and and he was and like i finally like it just it just felt overwhelming it like uh, like no i can i'm doing it in cut paper cut paper is going to be fine i can make a career in cut paper and it wasn't until i got in the computer that it was like oh i can now i can i can do the same thing but like a hundred times more that is freaking that is exactly what i did in school like i was every teacher was like why are you drawing all this stuff with pen and ink you know you know you could use go down and use the computers i'm like nah, i don't, I don't want to use computers I don't, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't like you know I don't, I don't know i was intimidated by them a little bit yeah and then i got into it and it was all out the window, man. <laughs> like I was, I was, I was a uh, assistant teaching like the Photoshop class and stuff like that. Like I was the only person, you know, outside of the, the administration who knew what the hell they were doing in these things. Mm-hmm. But I was really reticent to, to break away from that feel, you know what I mean? Just the yeah. paper and a pen and a marker and a, yep. the gouache, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. I but that's students incredible. now have that same, hesitation or if like we are the generation that was like one foot in each and like yeah you, you're like s- stranded over two boats and you just have to jump into the one that you're going to go with i think that's it because i tell people like when they're talking about well, did you do photography before i'm like well i had to take photography in school and i hated it because i didn't want to sit in the dark room and play with chemicals um, but that was photography you know what right. I mean? that was part right. of the part right. of the deal yep um and if it had been this and, you know, we had digital cameras, but they were like two megapixel cameras. Um, so they weren't really used. Uh, <laughs> but if it had been this, I think it would have been a different turn. I probably would have, you know, gone down a different path yeah, from the right. beginning. It's interesting. But cut paper, man. That's amazing. That's great that you you did that because that that's exactly what your style reminded me when I was going through there. It's it. You know, you have that that Saul Bass, you know feel to the post in, in terms of like the angles and the, the way you use type and break it up with, with the figures and stuff like that. I, I, I love that stuff too. Um, yeah, and I think the, and, um, the, thinking, the thinking was like, all right, well, I know I just want even tone of color. So why don't I just use a sheet of that color? If I'm doing it by hand, why don't I just buy sheets of color and then just kind of cut the sheets? And I, it's yeah. funny. I, st- I should actually put some on Instagram. Yeah. I still have some of the old, cut paper illustrations but the the rubber cement has not lasted the the 20 some years uh, yeah i know i <laughs> pick them up and they just like all all the pieces like rain down i'm i'm gonna pull mine out and you pull yours out I, like, all right I will, I will oh, i've got a couple <laughs> of things a family show fellas <laughs> not really really I've got like, did they ever make you do like dimensional stuff? Like you had to do like, like cut some foam and then put the, Oh, absolutely. Like, we did a whole bunch I was stuff doing, that. like by senior year, I was doing like um, stuff that was like six inches deep. Like you'd like, yeah. there was like, you know, different, <laughs> different layers in it. Yeah. yeah. And then, then I wound up like my entire, like the, my bedroom at my parents' house, like there were like beer box, like beer cartons cut down, like just everything to protect these. I had this like collection yeah. of these things. I'm like, what am I? What am I gonna do with this stuff? I know I still hang on to it, and it's get it's getting really ridiculous because, like you said, shit is falling apart. Like I had this whole, like I think I made it out of like plastic. I don't even like plaster, plasticine, like a George Washington thing on top of this dollar bill, and it, like I still have this thing, and I'm like, 
this is why am I keeping this? Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I just yeah, put so much work into it. It was just like I forget when I let them go, but I did let them go. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I have let some of the stuff go, but there's there's just a few things that I'm hanging on to that I was fairly proud of then, which doesn't look great now. But <laughs> that's so funny, man. That's so funny that we're in the same. It, you know, that was still going on, um, the, the cut paper and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Like how you get it. And the rub down, I don't know if you did rub down type. I don't know. If I didn't. Any, I never had to do that. No. Yeah, we had that for mock ups mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Tom, Thank God your, for the um, I was just going to shift a little bit here back to Legions, Mythic Legion specifically. So, where does your love for like sword and shield uh, kind of fall? Yeah. Have you done stuff for like. Um, I don't know, like Lord of the Rings or any, did, anything like that. I did one poster for Weta for uh, for the Hobbit movies. I, I, I and I chose. It's funny because that answers the question of of the love for Mythic Legions. I I, I gravitate toward the monsters, mm -hmm. uh, so I, I chose to do like all the creatures from the uh, from the newer Hobbit movies. I put them all into one composition, um, but like I started with the monsters and now I've like kind of shifted over to like Sir Gerard and Volagar, the original one with like the all armored one. And like, again, you get them open. You're like, Oh my God, these are so good. Like even if right. I do have a prior love of, of armor and swords and stuff, it's just, it, and it all fits in that world so well. Yeah. That, but it, the monsters are what, are what call to me. Cool. So like, that is like that, the orcs and the goblins and the, yeah. Yep. Sort of those factions and yeah. yeah. Just wanted to show this because you said this is one of Milton Glazer is another one of your yeah, influences in that. So, and you know, it's funny. Yeah. I haven't looked at his stuff. I don't even have any of his books. Me neither. <laughs> I should after looking at this stuff. And I'm like, oh, my God, this must have had because we did had to take like the history of graphic design. Yeah. Courses, yeah. And mm -hmm. this must have had a lot deeper effect than maybe I even realize. I think that happens. Yeah, I think that happens. I mean, yeah. That's where I think I picked up my love for Frazetta and fantasy art and that kind of stuff. And, you know, at the time, album covers were, were in that vein, too. Yeah, were, exactly. you know, well, Literally the Molly Hatchet cover, but like, um, yeah. you know, just in that style. And that's kind of what I wanted to do. Like, that was where I was going with illustration. And, yeah. you know, the thing is, like... Like everybody tells you, it's like, well, all right, that's a good goal to, you know, you want to do books and you want to do album covers, but it's a very niche the thing. The side of you're bands. Have to get ready to draw diaper ads because exactly. that's really yeah. where you're going to get paid for. It, you know? Right. You, and you don't, you, you can't hear that when you're in college, but that's really. No. Have no. you been to the Frazetta Museum? No, um, I have not been to the Frazetta. My but wife you know, just went to the Dolly and I've got to go down to Florida. There's one in. PA too. The yeah, his son. I mean, that's his son's place, right? I think. Yeah, it's his son's place. I didn't, and I, I've always loved his work, but I didn't know there was like the fractured family thing. And yeah. his son talked to us, talked to my family and I for like two hours about yeah. the family I've dynamics. Heard, wow, I heard it, that will happen. It is worth the trip. Yeah, we I gotta were, do it. We were the only people, and you shouldn't be. Look, what part of New York are you? Long Island. It's not far. Oh, oh, so you're not far at all. Yeah, you're probably no. not much further than me, if if at all. But it, oh. I stumbled. We were we were in the Poconos like last fall, just on a week a week vacation, and we were mm -hmm. just I was just like looking around stuff in the area, and I'm like, oh, my, you would tell me there's a Frazetta museum like 20 minutes from here. It was hmm. it was such an experience. Hmm. Um, but it's it's well worth an idea. Yeah, cool. yeah. I mean, I heard like back in the day. You know, he 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 was there. Like he, he was there. there. His it his was wife just... was there up until I mean that was mm, that's been quite a few minute few years. But she would take you on the tour. You know, after yeah. that, it's hmm. it's the son and his wife and his daughter now. Um, yeah, take you on yeah. the tour. Yeah, it's it's great. Um, and his granddaughter too, right? The grand his granddaughter Sarah, right? That's the or that's his daughter Sarah, right? Sarah's yeah, right. The granddaughter. It would, be, it would be Frank's daughter. The granddaughter, right? Yeah, right. Right. Sarah's granddaughter. Yeah. 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 yeah I just uh, we were just talking about how I just picked up. Uh, they got a Death Dealer comic book out now. Oh, very cool. Yeah, cool. Did you read it yet, Trevor? I started to last night and I, I fell asleep. So, and that was the only sleep I got. So I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking cool. The art looks no, great. No indication of how good the book is. You were just tired. That's that's my comic. <laughs> no, book. yeah, no. That's no, my no. comic reading habits right now. I, I go almost every Wednesday and I'm, there's just a stack. I just like, I by the time I'm done working at night, I'm exhausted and I sit down yeah. and read and I'm like, I make it like yeah. 
five pages in and I'm that's it <laughs> yeah same. and comic books are only about 12 pages at this point but uh, i still don't <laughs> exactly. make it all the way through exactly i picked up uh something is killing the children i heard that's really good volume one of the the trade paperback because i heard it was really good yeah let me know um, how it is. yeah well um yeah and i'll just uh, uh, as a plug right now before we, we say wrap things up i'm going to be on a uh, group of seven comics uh channel this is you you'd actually like this if you, you liked x-men i'm sure uh, growing up yeah uh, but anybody who liked x-men these guys do a comic called peregrines uh or peregrines uh it's very cool uh oh, but jason cool. lapidus and uh, uh chris are the writer and the uh artist yeah. respectively and every week they go through from giant size x-men they've been going through every issue of x-men and it's great because jason's got some great insight into comic book art being a comic book artist and he's got a great knowledge of of you know the the history of that stuff back then so uh it's a great show so check it out i'll be on there tomorrow night we'll be doing uh issue 120 which has uh, alpha flight which is one of my favorite teams I so you're on. doing a reading trevor right and i think you've promised to doing some uh accents or well, some <laughs> chris or? see chris sanigan does an excellent so i'm like it's like we there's a handful of us that, i'm trying to get more people to watch this because it's a great show but like give us a, a handful of us that watches and uh chris does a great banshee he just does a great irish brogue so so like, wait, it's my favorite part of the show you're going through they go through like issue by issue of the old of the run oh that's great what a great yep. idea yeah put just put it up that on the screen cool. you know if something comes up about a, a a you know something interesting about the shot the how the art was done or the you know some interesting dated dialogue which there is a lot of and, yeah. and the characters how they developed over time and how John Byrne had more of an influence as things went on and stuff. It's just, it's great rereading those comic books and great history. So it's yeah. a lot of fun. So if you're around tomorrow at 9 p.m., yeah, I'll be on that. That's really cool. Um, yeah. Um, listen, this is, uh, it's an hour and a half. Uh, I, this has been great, man. I, I really yeah. appreciate you coming on here. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Learned a lot. I can't believe you did cut paper. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's just, I will, it still I, blows my mind. I'm like, I, I'm, I, right, out, right. I will put it on Instagram tonight. That's fantastic. Um, Tom Whalen is illustrator. Go to uh, strongstuff.net. Which, is, which, is, by the way, Tom, if you hadn't have chosen that, I, that would have been my domain. Oh, yeah. Probably. You stole your, totally stole your really? uh, last name. That's, last That's name is strong. strong. So I, I've oh, had. Geez. I've actually had like portfolio websites that were damn close to that, but oh wow, yeah. <laughs> strong ideas, stuff like that. But I didn't. I didn't really know, obviously, I didn't. I didn't get on it early enough on Twitter because that it was now I had to take strong stuff, Tom. And I, some, I when I last I checked, somebody had strongstuff.com, so that's why it's .net. But that was this. Mm, I probably bought good. the domain fifteen years yeah. ago. So cool. Yeah, it's tough to get all that stuff together and then you've Locked got in, like yeah. well it's it's there's a dot if you're on instagram it's dot and it's like ah, forget it just look yeah. me up you'll find me yeah um strongstuff.net on uh the web and strong you're just strong stuff on uh instagram yeah right and strong stuff tom on uh twitter strong stuff tom on twitter um twitter's getting great man for i gotta say for comic book stuff and illustration and toy news and stuff really I'm kind of liking it a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little more. It's it can be caustic. There's oh you know, yeah, it can be caustic. To follow too, if you just trim it down to the fun stuff. Hmm. Uh, but I have two accounts. One of them is my uh, my caustic account, <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is well, one shooter you know. where I just keep it nice and toy photography and toy yeah. news and you know just the people I know. You know, I don't get involved with any yes. celebrity bullshit and all that stuff. So yeah. Uh, it's a lot of fun, but listen, thanks for joining us, Tom. I really appreciate you coming on. Um, yeah, it's been, been great. great. Um, we'll more work maybe with the four horsemen in the future. Oh, I hope so. We had, we had talked about it. Nothing, nothing concrete yet, but we had right. cool. said we both, both, both open to it in the future. So cool. I, I nice. so the posters are sold out, but you can still go to retro rags and get the tees. True. Yes. And yeah, I do yeah. have, um, I have, I will have uh, a handful of copies, uh, of my own too uh Oops. and i'll we haven't decided when i'm going to release them yet i i okay. said you know when when they're through with that run um okay. and that's that's kind of indicative of how this poster scene works oh, cool. there's like there's what's called the the main edition which is like what the company mondo or or vice press releases and that's right. what um 
the four horsemen released and then i printed up uh what's called like an artist run it's the exact same oh. poster they're just signed and numbered by me um oh. They'll, they'll go up so eventually. So no color no, differences. No it's color variant. Just, okay. No, no, no. It's just it's the exact same posters, just uh, just a, a smaller run. All them. right. Well, there you go, man. Yes, you sir. might have we'll another chance. Them. So all the more reason to follow Tom on Instagram, see when those go up, and have your chance at them if you missed them before. Um, what else well, we got? Nate, what do you got going on? Anything you got going on coming up soon? Uh, nope. We're on a break right now with the uh, – Myth and Fantasy Toy Pick. So other than that, just trying to You're shoot working. what I can. It's been incredibly busy, but yeah. Working in yard work. This is twice now. I talked yeah. to TJ on one six pack for about yard work for the first five minutes of a show one time. Very yeah, I'm, I'm over it big time. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, what you got going on? You got uh, Dorkler coming up Thursday night, right? You're going to be talking yep. about the... Yep, we're going live Thursday night. Not This is not the podcast episode. This is the off week, so oh. it'll be a little looser, a little more casual. Um, and, but we're going to go over the Furious 4 and talk about all that. And uh, I'm going to give away a uh, Fury Orc. So oh, wow. tune in for that. Oh, nice. I, I'll definitely tune in then. <laughs> you might not be eligible. I'm always. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not eligible. I'm not on the hey, show. Bill, on your last spin, I was. I didn't think I should enter, and then I saw Trevor enter, and I'm like, "Well, screw it, then I'm going to enter." <laughs> <laughs> it's not my show. Right? I'm a guest. <laughs> that was funny. All right, guys, this has been great. Uh, thank you for everybody for showing up. Uh, yeah, we had a bunch that. of people in here tonight. It was great. It, hit the like on your way out, and um, we'll uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks again, Tom. All right, yeah, thanks, Tom. Thanks. thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you.